Here's a very special insight that I've learned from four years of being a dating coach that I'm going to share with you that the average person would never be able to get a handle on. As a man, it can be really hard to get girls because the social dynamics at stake require you to be extremely emotionally resilient and extremely brave and demonstrate this level of character that the average guy is really kind of scared to uh, to demonstrate because when you put yourself out there that like that, you know, you might have other challengers, you might get rejected. There, there's so much pressure on the guy that has to go out and meet the girl that it can seem really, really hard to get girls. And it's actually designed this way for a reason because women are reliant upon men to some extent to bring home the bacon in many uh, dynamics, right? I mean, it's not always like that. But the point is, is that if you're going to be submissive in a sense to a man and rely on him to bring home the bacon, right, and to protect you and pr provide for your household and do all these things as we see in traditional relationship dynamics, you're going to need a guy that's a boss and he's going to have to maybe jump through a hurdle or two, maybe a shit test or or maybe, um, you know, you might want to see him do something bold, like approach you while you're hanging around your friends or something like that if you're a girl, right? You're going to want to see, if you're a woman, you're going to want to see some strong behavior from the guy that you would ultimately commit yourself to, especially if you're really attractive. You have all these different options. You know, there's a reason why it's hard for the man to actually get the attention of the attractive woman. And as a single man taking action out in the dating world, you might have noticed that, you know, it can be like you can get a girl's attention, right? Maybe even just from the way that you look, but then you do something that sends some kind of signal to her and you can lose her attention like that. Well, the insight that I've had as a dating coach, somebody that's studying attraction and kind of looking at what men and women both think in terms of sexuality on this kind of thing. One thing I've noticed is that men and women really do want to come together and there's a lot more attraction before there's even words spoken, you know, people coming together, it's hard to do because there's a lot of things that you can do and say to turn a woman off. Okay. So there's it has to be, you know, certain things at play that promote someone actually getting together. But the desire to get together is extremely there from both parties, even in cases where people are already in relationships, which is crazy, right? We are biologically wired to want to come together with the opposite gender all the time. We get this idea as single men that because women have their bitch shield up, what, what we call it, what we mean is like women that have, uh, you know, they, they try to like use resting bitch face to discourage people to come and approach them because they get hassled all the time by nuisance type guys, right? We assume that because that's a factor and because it can be hard to win women over sometimes that they're not always really wanting the attention or wanting the approach. And after dedicating two years of my life to going out into the single dating world and going on date after date after date to the point of mastering the process where I finally met my wife, and then the last few years coaching other men to do this same thing that I've done, you know, I've had to attune my radar to sexual dynamics so closely where I've noticed many, many things that allude to this truth. There's a quote in Jurassic Park where Jeff Goldblum says, life will find a way after, you know, they said that, you know, all the dinosaurs were bred, uh, you know, female or whatever. So that way nobody could get pregnant and have more dinosaurs. You know, he, he said this, this quote, like, hey, life will find a way. And if you think about the strength of biology, the magnetism between the two sexes, right? That force is extremely strong, just like in the movie where all of a sudden the dinosaurs re were repopulating, even though they were, they were all the same gender, supposedly, right? That's the strength of biology. And if you think about that force at play between single men and women, you know, you have to observe the fact that women want to find that man in their life. And so this should be motivating to you as a single guy. You should say, hey, you know what? Women want me to come approach them. They want my attention. They want my presence. It's it's cuffing season right now. Everybody wants to bring the guy home, you know, to Ma and Pa. And to be honest, they, they want the boyfriend to Netflix and chill with in the meantime, even after the holidays, right? Women want your presence as a single man. So make sure that you're out there taking action, that you're reaching out, you're risking rejection. So that way, ultimately, you can find that perfect partner just like I did.